Hi, my name is Oswaldo, and I'm part of the Mech organization, and I'll be showing the three-wheel robot car. So, while opening the uh, box, you'll see the materials. Next, you'll see the, man uh, the manual book. and the tools. Next we'll be needing six nuts, two large screws, and four medium screws, and two beams, one plate, a bracket, and a bracket P3. So, Next up, you see that putting the DC motor in. You'll be needing the motor, of course, and two small screws. And you'll put it at the side of the beam. Next is putting on the timing pulley. You'll see that I put one already in. You'll be ne needing that uh, one of the timing pulley that we set up and a headlid set screw. You'll see at the shaft connector there's a hole that you connect. And from the motor you have to put it at the flat side, at the screw. First thing first, I like putting the screw inside first until I put the pulley inside.
when you see it's right there in the edge inside now you put it inside the motor and remember to put it at the flat side and don't be too close to the motor because when the uh, wheels moving it's going to hit so leave some uh, room in there Now, next step we will be needing a time a timing pulley, a shaft connector, and two screws. You'll see that I have built one already. An interesting fact about the shaft connector that you'll see there will be screws to connect them inside. So. Next, we'll be using these, the DC motor and the DC motor bracket that will be having two screws as well. An interesting fact about this that this, these two right here, they have to be the opposite side. Also, the one that has a concave right there will be uh, forward then the other side is just flat that'll be at the back so Next, we'll be needing two tires, a nut, and the wheel. You see that I have uh, put in one of my tires in. Next, we'll be using the ultrasonic sensor, the make block Ryan, a base bracket, a bracket, four nuts, two large screws, two small screws, and a plastic ring. So we're going to put on the sensor first
Also, an interesting fact for the base bracket, you see there's this sticker that you gotta take off. So, we have an extra one. To make it more pretty. And you'll see the four holes in the middle will be aligned to the holes with the beam. And you'll be needing your Orion make block. And they'll both be opposites. So the ring is going to be at one side, and the other ring is going to be at the other. Next we'll be needing six nylon studs, ten screws that for them are on the base bracket that is connected to the uh, battery holder, two nuts that holds the screws with the battery holder. Two of the nylon studs will be technically the tail of the three-wheel car. So, we're going to put the Mi infrared receiver sensor on here. Next is connecting these I'll only be screwing two screws. Also, there are going to be six batteries. We'll be using double A, and you have to uh, carry your own to plug in for the bat uh, car. Our next step is going to be using the cables and wires. You see this terminal block that is orange, the wires and the terminal block are separate. 
there are screws up here that you gotta to make them loose to put the wires inside then to make it tighter these are for the motors so you'll see right here orange with orange And you'll see the motors having a connector here. And we plugged in our power cord inside. Next is connecting the Bluetooth and the sensor. This alpha red sensor it will be connected to port 3. And this other cable with the Bluetooth will be connected to port 6. Next is the remote control. You'll see that you have to have your own uh, uh, have to have your own battery. So let's turn on the car and and the car works. 